good morning everybody uh today we are going to learn about forests of india and various you know uh, classification of forest in india okay uh just minutes to zoom in i guess yeah so let me So, uh, uh, we are going to learn about the total uh, classif various classifications of the forests in India. So, um, the total plant life growing naturally in any area is called, you know, forest or natural vegetation. So, it is influenced by various ecological factors like temperature, rainfall, landform, so on. So, so, according to 2009, there was a survey and um there you know so there it was like 6.7 lakh square kilometer of forest forming about you know 21 percent of the total geographical area of the country okay so uh when we are trying to define what is forest at present in india there is you know no clear or national accepted definition for forest okay so uh, states are responsible for determining their now, uh, definitions of forest as per the requirement. So, the uh, uh, reprogrative of, you know, uh, state uh, that is to uh, define forest stems from, you know, um, 1996 Supreme by the Tamil Nadu, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, government and, uh, you know, uh, where, you know, God, uh, Godwan, Trivarum, Kadar, uh, Tiramula Kapada versus the Union of India judgment came out that in uh, the word forest must be understood according to its dictionary meaning. So this describes the coverage uh, you know, that covers all the statutorily recognized forest uh, whether you know designated as reserved protected or any other wise okay so when we are trying to define this sorry where did it go yeah so as per the constitutional provision the forests are included in the current list in you know seventh schedule of the constitution of the country so though 42nd amendment act in 1976 Forests are protection of wild animals. Birds are, were, you know, transferred from the state to, uh, you know, concurrent lists. So, uh, Article 51 uh, AG of the Constitution state that it shall be from, you know, a fundamental duty of every citizen to protect the uh, and improve the, you know, natural environment, including the forest and the wildlife. So then, Article. That is mandate that the state shall endeavor to protect and improve the environment and the safe and safeguard the forest and wildlife of the country. That statute of the country is that India's forests are currently governed by national forest policy in 1988, which was you know environmentally uh, balanced and livelihood are uh, at its center. So the forest reports says that according to india state of forest report in 2019 the trees and the cover you know forest cover together made up of about you know 24.56 percent of it and of in uh, you know of about you know uh you know india's total area and the country is per percent of its land under the forest cover okay so the classification of forests are done on various you know uh, categories and uh, analysis and you know uh, and be on on various basis okay so like administration basis as per the administrative block basis that is reserve forest protected forest and unprotected forested areas 
so under this that under direct super uh, you know reserve forest is the under direct supervision of the government there is no public entry allowed for the you know commercial purpose of the you know cattle and grazing animals there and there is 53% of the total forested area of the country is under this category okay so uh, then protected forest uh, is like it it is looked after by the government it is looked after by the government not supervised by the government uh, local people are allowed to collect forest products and cattle grazing allowed uh, you know without causing any serious damage to the forest uh, properties now uh, they occupy about 29% of the total forested area okay uh, then comes the unprotected forest uh is that is you know uh, you know restricting on cutting uh, trees or grazing cattle there is no restriction on that and it occupies about 18% of the total forested area so cumulatively if you see that reserve forest shares the largest portion of the forested area total forested area in the country then comes the protected forest and then comes the unprotected forest which is not administered uh, by any government but uh, and as well as there is no uh, you know restriction of uh, you know uh, what do you call uh, cu cutting of trees or cattle grazing and uh, you know whereas in reserve forest you uh, it is supervised by the government and it is there is a strict restriction of you know public entry and you know uh, moving in all those areas then in protected forest you have you know you allow local people to enter those areas but there is a limitation to it that you do not damage any of the forest properties just hold on then you have classification as per the constitution of the india that is the state forest commercial forest and private forest in state forest it includes almost all important forested areas of the country under or you know full control of the government and the state um as you know so it it is at the central level as as well as at the state level it is whenever it is under the government control so the cover uh, it covers almost 94% of the total forested area commercial forest is owned uh, you know administered by the local bodies that is municipal corporation village panchayat district you know borders and so on it covers about 5% of the total forested areas private forest are you know under private ownership it covers slightly more than 1% of the total forested area then uh, we come on the basis of much you know uh, merchantability means uh, how what are the for so forests that are accessible uh, in a merchantable uh, forest and non merchantable forest the so forest those are accessible by for you know selling of the product uh, you know and it covers about 82% of the total forested areas the forests that are situated at high mountainous peaks are non accessible and uh, the products al almost is you know can be ability it cannot be uh, used for merchandise so it covers about 18% of the total forested areas now then there is a based on composition like you know coniferous forest and broadleaf forest so the temperature uh, uh, then a the temperate forest are you know uh, basically a coniferous forest it's found in the middle and the upper elevation of the eastern middle himalayas and northeastern states like arunachal pradesh and assam him uh, in nagaland and mizoram all those areas you will find it then broadleaf forests are tropical and subtropical monsoon forest and it is found in the plateau plains and mountainous areas of the country uh, it covers about 94% of the total forested areas so if you see coniferous forest covers about 6.5% of the uh, total forested areas and broadleaf forest covers about 94% um uh, uh yeah so india's forests on the on this basis are average annual rainfall can be categorized broadly into five categories okay just hold on
I'll just get back. Yeah. So, uh, based on average rainfall, India in India, the forest uh, on the basis of average rainfall can be categorized uh, broadly into five categories. That is tropical uh, evergreen forest, uh, moist evergreen forest, uh, then uh, region found in the southern India along with, you know, moist evergreen forest are the, you know, region found in the southern India along the Western Ghats, that is uh, in Andaman and Andaman and Nicobar Islands and northeastern regions. So the climatic condition found in uh, uh, is warm and humid areas. So with an annual precipitation of uh, you know about uh, uh, sixty mm or above, that is you know. Um, Sixty meters and above are, you know, um, are the characteristics of these. You know, uh, sorry, the, you know, uh, yeah, it is about two hundred centimeters and more. And the mean annual temperature will, uh, you know, on, uh, be constant on about uh, twenty-two degree Celsius. Okay, so the trees uh, which uh, in these forested areas reach a uh, great height up to, you know, sixty meters. Or above, and there is no time for the tree to shed their leaves. So, uh, you know, uh, flowering and fruitation uh, fruits uh, of these areas appear, you know, uh, greener and all around the year. Okay, so uh, the species found in these forests include a rosewood, uh, you know, mahogany, um, anine, uh, ebony, uh, and are so. And, and there are many more uh, types of uh, species of plant uh, trees which are found here. The most common trees that are found in this area is called is jackfruit, brittle nut, palm, uh, mango, um, hollock are some of the types of you know uh, trees or you know fruit fruit bearing trees or you know commercial use uh, using trees in these areas. The semi green evergreen forest. Um, are found in less rainy part of the region where moist evergreen forests are found in Western Ghats, and uh, and the, uh, sorry, Andaman and Nicobar Islands and Eastern Himalayas. Trees such as you know forest have mixture of moist evergreen and moist deciduous forest. The undergrowing climbers provide a evergreen character to the forest and maintain. And many species are, you know, uh, here found of these uh, in these areas like white cedar, hollock, and kyle are some of the types of you know trees here. Dry evergreen forests are found in the Shivalik Hills and the foothills of Himalayas, up to the height of thousand meters in the north. So it is found along the uh, on you know. Uh, um, it is found in uh, Andhra Pradesh and Karnataka coast also in the southern part of the country where you have certain elevations. Now, uh, climatic condition usually have prolonged hot and dry season and a cold winter. So the trees mainly, uh, you know, are hard leaved uh, evergreen trees with fragrance, uh, fragrant uh, flowers along with few deciduous trees. Now trees have you know uh, vanished uh, varnished looks on over it and some are more common uh, trees found in these areas are pomegranate olives and orlander in the region 
the tropical deciduous forest that is the monsoon forest a uh, moist deciduous forest these regions uh, you know these forests are found in northeast state along with the foothills of himalayas eastern slopes of western ghats and odisha a uh, rainfall found in these regions which you know uh, record uh, uh, rainfall between uh, 100 to 200 cm and the trees are you know broad branched uh, you know trees tree trunks and some uh, you know uh, some of the taller trees shed their leaves in dry season like sal teak sesam uh, mahua amla uh, 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 sandalwood are some of the examples of the uh, you know uh, monsoon forest or moist you know deciduous forest dry deciduous forests are found in the uh, throughout the northern part of the country except in the northeast also found in madhya pradesh gujarat andhra pradesh and karnataka and tamil nadu okay so the rainfall covers a vast area of the country where you know rainfall range between 70 to 100 cm on the wetter margin so it has a transition or uh, to the moist deciduous while other dry margin to the thorny forest the trees as the uh, dry season begins the tree sheds their leaves completely and the forest appears like a vast uh, you know grassland within naked uh, you know trees all around uh, all around okay so the uh, uh, you know trees like uh, amaltas bale uh, no khair uh, um, axle wood are some of the examples of common trees which are found in dry deciduous forest thorny forest are uh, you know the forest that occurs in the area which receives annual rainfall less than 50 cm uh, the region is like this type uh, is found in areas with black soil northwest and you know uh, uh, north west central and south of india include semi arid regions of south no like you know south of punjab haryana rajasthan gujarat madhya pradesh uttar pradesh have this type type of you know vegetation thorny vegetation the trees are uh, you know grown beyond uh, do not grow beyond 10 meters and consist of you know varieties of grasses and shrubs in the areas the spurge and the capers and the cactus are you know typically found in these regions and the plant remains leafless for most part of the year babool acacia uh, khoko khair you know khajure ber neem uh, khajri uh, then palas are some uh, palas are some of the example of the common species found in these thorny forests then um, mountain uh, forest mountain forest just a minute uh, yeah mountain forests are like just hold on
here. So mountain forests. Uh, mountain forests are, you know, uh, wet temperate mountain forests are um, occurs when northern and southern uh, in northern and southern India. In northern, it is found in the region of east of Nepal uh, into uh, Arunachal Pradesh at a height of about 1800 to 3000 meters, receiving a minimum rainfall of about uh, uh, 200 centimeter. And in south, it is found in parts of Nilgiri Hills, uh, that is higher reaches of the Kerala. And the trees um, of the forest in the northern region are denser than the southern region and this is because of the uh, you know over time the regional trees have been replaced by the fast growing varieties such as eucalyptus rhododendron camphor and uh, you know other varieties of you know ground flora can be found in these regions now mountain um, mountain uh, subtropical forest climate conditions found in these regions were uh, you know um, average rainfall um, is about 100 to 200 centimeter and the temperature varies between 15 degrees celsius to 22 degrees celsius the region found in the northwestern himalayas except ladakh and kashmir himachal pradesh uttarakhand um, sikkim arunachal pradesh uh, are the regions where we find the uh, you know uh, mountain wet temperate uh, forest the trees are in a steer in the may uh, you know, uh, and the main tree uh, are about oak jamun rhododendron are found in the forest areas so himalayan forest that is the moist forest this is uh, found in the jammu and kashmir himachal pradesh uttarakhand and the northern uh, hilly part of Bay of, uh, bengal so the elevation uh, found in these belt were uh, are at an altitude varying between uh, you know, thousand to two thousand meters. Oaks, uh, you know, chestnut, cheer, sal, uh, shrubs, and you know, nutritious grasses are found in these regions. Now, Himalayan dry temperate uh, region like you know, JNK, Chambal, uh, Ch uh, Chamba, uh, Lahol, Kanor districts are you know, uh, and parts of Sikkim are uh, Himalayan dry temperate uh, region. And the trees mainly found are coniferous, deodar, oak, and uh, you know, uh, goza, maple, or you know, olive, mulberry, and willow trees in the region. Okay, uh, alpine and uh, uh, you know, subalpine forests are at an elevation of about 2500 to 4000 meters. And uh, these forests extend from you know, Kashmir to Arunachal Pradesh between the height of about 2900 to 3500 meter uh, above sea level now the trees in these western himalayas and the vegetation consists mainly of uh, jupin rhododendron willow and black currant in the you know uh, eastern part uh, red fir black uh, uh, japnir uh, then you have the uh, birik and lakher are some of the common trees which are found in these regions Lat uh, littoral or you know swamp forests are also you know, found in the country like you know uh, it is found along andaman and nicobar islands and the deltatic areas of the ganga brahmaputra region now uh, uh, the other areas that are significant um, uh, found uh, swamp forest found are mahanadi Godavari, Krishna, Delta, and the trees uh, of these forests are dense and impenetrable. So only limited number of plants are found in these vegetation, uh, you know, evergreen forest, and they have roots that consist of soft tissue so that the plant can breathe in the water. It, it is basically a mangrove forest, so it con uh, consists mainly of the, you know, whistling pine, uh, mangrove uh, datas, dates uh, palms and you know uh, bullwood are you know some of the trees which are found here so mangrove in india uh, forests are spread of about 6740 square kilometer which is about 7% of the total world's mangrove forest 
so the you know forest is stabilize the shoreline and protects the coastal region from erosion sundarban along the ganga delta uh, is the largest delta forest in the world now this is an image that shows the uh, distribution of the various forest types now these dotted lines are showing you uh, you know the mountainous forest uh, littoral uh, uh, forest or the you know swamp forest are here on the delta uh, you know like it is there in uh, you know, west bengal a delta region of you know ganga uh, mahanadi krishna and godavari are also form forming a deltaic region here um, are some uh, lateral uh, forest uh, tropical thorn forest is this one so some part of punjab haryana um, parts of madhya pradesh uh, gujarat uh, rajasthan are uh, where you will find thorny forest then you have uh, you know tropical deciduous forest which is this is the central part of the country has the tropical deciduous forest and then on the you know uh, western ghat section you will have tropical evergreen forest and semi evergreen forest in these region and also on the eastern part in the you know uh, northeastern states uh, you will find uh, you know tropical evergreen forest and bay of bengal and you know, bengal and northern part also you will find these type of forest okay natural ve vegetation in india can be also seen as evergreen forest deciduous monsoon uh, monsoon forest tropical grassland desert vegetation mangrove forest and alpine forest as we have seen so again this is a you know better uh, uh, explanation and discrepancy of the forested areas in, or the natural vegetation found in india so the tropical evergreen forest this type of vegetation is found in the area which is more than you know uh, 900 meters above the sea level and receives a rainfall about 25 uh, uh, sorry 250 cm temperature ranging between 25 degree to 27 degree celsius the uh, then uh, the temperature and humidity are responsible for the growing of the vegetation and the trees are found at the height of about 60 meter tall uh canopies are formed very tall canopies you have and india um, in india the most of the forests are found in the western side of the western ghats and the northeastern states of andaman and nicobar islands they are occupying of about 2.6 lakh hectares uh, of the uh, forested area in the country so ebony um, then you have mahogany rosewood trees are some of the trees that, you know uh, that you uh, come across in the region a uh, rubber tree plantation are also done in the region uh, these are uh, uh, okay now these are also plantation forest they are also beneficial for the ecological balance but it has also its an uh, you know adversities uh, of you know you expanding the uh, you know uh, plantation forest bamboo uh, bushes are also found in these areas deciduous mountainous for you know a monsoon forest again we have i talked about it they cover a large part of the india and they are found in the region where rainfall is between 75 cm to 250 cm and it forms about 65% of the total area of the forest since india is having monsoon climate it is the type of forest that distributes widely over they shed their leaves during winter uh, season and uh, you know and are also called as tropical deciduous forest okay uh, like sal uh, and teak are the common trees which are grown here in the forested areas also as a uh, you know from, uh, plantation okay for the timber uh these are the woods that are harvested for uh, for timber okay tropical grassland they are type of vegetation found in the central part of the peninsular plateau uh, that is broad area that of uh, bordered by you know a thar desert in the west of the aravalli where annual rainfall is between 60 cm to 75 cm the forest have uh, you know trees with in you know, a short trunk bamboo sesame and uh, sabai uh, type of grass are seen here okay now this is the type of you know uh, 
uh, you know vegetation that you will come across uh this is again open forest this is another type of vegetation this is again a uh, un unconsolidated or unmarked uh, forested areas these are the grassland marshy grasslands uh, which is commonly found in you know northeastern part of the country now mangrove forests are formed due to the tides and they are formed along the delta and estuaries of the river and are subjected to tides now the delta river uh, like ganga godavari mahanadi krishna have the these types of forests now the ganga delta are plenty of sundar uh, sundri trees and hence these forests are also known as sundarbans the total area of the mangrove forest is uh, about you know 4.4 thousand square kilometer area okay this is how you know uh, the mangrove trees look like so they are almost impenetrable so very few other varieties of vegetation are uh, grows in these regions a desert type of vegetation is found in the region where annual rainfall is less than 50 cm like thar desert which is the ninth largest desert in the world and the uh, you know adjacent part of punjab haryana gujarat have these type of vegetation you know, the trees which grows here are you know short and have uh, you know deep roots thick leaves and thorns uh, like date palms are common near the oasis and babool palm uh and cactus are um, uh, you know important trees in these regions okay and now you come across the thorny uh shrubs in the region of uh, you know and also thorny bushes and the trees are not very high this part it is sparsely vegetated mostly cactus type of trees thorny types of trees you will see in these region uh this is an animal that you know that has the ability to survive in this arid region uh then you have palm palm trees growing in the uh, you know oh yeah uh, near the oasis of the desert okay now alpine forest of himalayas uh, uh, no different types of forest are found here as height increases the tropical type of climate change in the polar type of climate according to the change in the climate variation type of planet are you know plants are found the important types of trees growing in this type of forest are sal lever uh, toon uh, silver spur and uh, and so on and these trees have uh, you know pointy leaves okay this is how they look like like alpine so as you go higher higher in you know altitude uh, the vegetation also gets scare and scare uh important uh, forests uh, are very essential as a natural resources and they provide raw material to industries such as uh, timber bamboo cane gym you know gum medicinal plants shrubs and so on okay so uh, it also provide fodder to the animal and it also provides as a grazing ground for the cattle the forests provide moisture in the atmosphere and lowers the temperature they obstruct the rain you know bringing winds and uh, you know cause rainfall they prevent soil erosion and prevention of fertility uh, forest provides home for many animals and birds forest help to prevent ecological balance and they pro, you know uh, provide animal sanctuary such as you know um, um, which can also attract tourism Uh, distribution of forest the scientists uh, are on an opinion that good environment and areas about about 33% of the land is under the forest and then in, um, in india it is only about 21% which is uh, very less than that of you know given uh, measurement that is required the madhya pradesh has the largest forest area um, and haryana is the least uh, you know forested portion and karnataka state is in the 13th position of in the forest areas the conservation of the forest that is protection of forest from human beings animals and natural disaster is called conservation of the forest the natural forest area are gradually increasing decreasing because of the expansion of the agriculture animal grazing construction of roads rails irrigation uh, project fire you know fire, um, forest fire mining uh forest uh, then you know uh, fire and so on you know, causes the destruction of the forest in these regions the method of conservation of these forests can be like cut, uh, you know 
cutting down dry up and you know um, abrasing trees which can cause forest fire protecting uh, against diseases planting saplings sowing seeds guarding against illegal cutting or poaching of the trees uh, avoiding domestic animals to graze on these forested areas creating awareness among the people and social forestry project should be taken up social forestry aims at not only providing enough firewood fodder and other for Uh, and uh, and other forest products but also to meet the requirement of ecological balance through large scale afforestation and community land but you know uh, wetlands by you know planting vast growing varieties of the trees now uh, one mahotsav which uh, was started in 1950 aim at planting thousands of sapling during uh, you know july and august in order to create awareness among the people about the environment and the 5th june is celebrated as uh, you know uh, environment day every year so this is all about the forest of india conservation and the act that we have taken up okay uh, that's all for the lecture see you again